out to the groundbreaking ballerina. We've been wanting to bring you the story, Misty Copeland. Oh my goodness, she is taking on a new challenge. Last week, you know, she made history becoming the American Ballet Company's first female African-American principal dancer. Now she is headed to Broadway and our Mara got a chance and you showed us a side to her that we haven't seen before. Yeah, we got to know her a little yes. bit better. You know, she's such an inspiring person now making her debut on the Great White Way where she won't just be dancing, which of course she's used to. She's going to be singing and acting for the first time. Just one of many firsts for this star. She's the unlikely ballet star now making history. Misty, take a bow. As the first ever African American woman to be named principal dancer at the world renowned American Ballet Theater. Your dream has come true. Have you had a chance to sit with that? No. <laughs> I definitely had my moments of questioning whether or not this was really the path for me. Um, and it's so surreal that it's happened. It's a dream the 32-year-old wasn't sure would ever come true. One of six kids raised by a single mom, she started dancing at 13 and was often discouraged. It's a European art form and you're used to seeing a certain type of person as a ballerina. And I don't look like a lot of the girls around me. Just being told I'm too muscular, I'm too short. That must have felt so isolating for you. How were you able to push through that? Support, mentors, so many African-American women that just came into my life and, and helped guide me and keep me on track and encourage me. That support helping her become one of the most famous dancers in the country. You have the wrong body for ballet. And at 13, you are too old to be considered. Even doing an ad for Under Armour. So as the world gets to know her better, we wanted to as well. What's the last song you listened to? I feel blessed. It's like Big Sean and I think that's his name and Drake. Okay. I'm way up. I feel blessed. <laughs> right, favorite junk food guilty pleasure. I ate a bag of Doritos the other night with Tabasco sauce on it. <laughs> Out of nowhere. That's a good one. <laughs> Favorite show? I love blackish right now. Heels or flats? Heels. Oh, which is interesting because <laughs> I would expect your feet need a break. I, they do, but I love heels. <laughs> I'm 5'2 and I like feeling tall. And now a towering figure on stage and off. I know Copeland is not just changing the stage, but the audience too. She's expected to introduce a lot of people to ballet. Just a little perspective, about six million people go see the ballet live mm -hmm. each year. Mm -hmm. More than eight million people have already seen her Under Armour ad. So she's mm -hmm. really opening doors to that world. She really is, and what a, what a delight she is. She and she's is. inspiring so many, so many people.